in today's video, I'm going to show you how to train your AI employee with custom data in ZD. The first thing we're going to do is click AI in the top toolbar. From here on the left hand side, we'll select custom data and you'll immediately see a list of six options appear. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and select web pages. When you select web pages, a list will populate of all the pages we previously added. When it comes to training the AI by adding web pages, there's really no limit to what you can do. You can add your inventory and pricing, any website links, any pages, both public and private. And if you're using a POS inventory system, connecting that link will auto populate ZD's AI with all the latest stock and pricing. From here, we're going to select add web page. Then we're going to add our URL to the box at the top. Now, depending on if this is a page you update frequently or perhaps not at all, you can change the frequency of how often this page will be reviewed. And once we click save page, you'll see the list of web pages update accordingly. You can also train the AI by uploading files for your business. We offer a variety of file types to upload. And some of the more common cases we see are things like policies, labor rates, relevant local laws, disclaimers, and things of that nature. So click on upload files. Once this opens, all we have to do is drag and drop our file onto the page. In this case, I'm using a PDF brochure. And near the bottom, you'll see a section that says data retention. You can read our disclaimer on how your documents are uploaded and securely encrypted, but you'll also see two options for keeping or deleting the files you just uploaded. In this first example, we're going to select keep for viewing in results. Now when we check our uploaded files, you can see our PDF brochure is there, but it's clickable because we chose to select keep for viewing in results. Now we're going to do this again, but in the second round, we're going to choose to delete immediately after processing. And now when you view your uploaded files, you'll see that our brochure is no longer clickable. The first one was kept and is viewable. The second one was deleted immediately. And that's how you upload files to train your AI employee in ZD. Our custom answers feature is a very powerful tool where you can train your AI employee to reply to a particular question with a specific answer. When you click on the custom answers option, you'll see your entire list of previously added questions and answers. Let's go ahead and add a new one. In this particular example, we're going to add a question that may not be available for the AI to learn from the website or any documents we've uploaded so far. However, being that the question is likely to be asked quite often, we're going to go ahead and add it into our custom answers. And of course, as expected, the moment we save out our custom answer, it's available to immediately be viewed and edited in the dashboard. And that's how you add custom answers to train your AI employee in ZD. Now, if you want your AI to learn and emulate how you may communicate with a customer, or perhaps a different employee in your organization may communicate with a customer, you'll want to add a conversation example. When you select import conversation, you'll see a list of all the conversations you've had with customers through the ZD app. Simply select all the conversations you want your AI to begin learning and click import. And that's how you can begin training your AI based on previous conversations in ZD. Our AI employee training section is a very powerful tool that you can use to ensure your customers are receiving accurate answers to a variety of questions. To use this feature, we're going to go back to the left side menu and select Learning Playground. Once we're in the Learning Playground, we can pretend to be a customer and ask any question we want and then train our system to respond accordingly. It's important to note that this is an environment where you are training the AI employee. This is not a live customer interaction and it's not the same interface that customers will be seeing when they interact with you on your website. In this case, I'm going to ask a generic question that the AI should know the answer to based on the web pages and documents I've uploaded previously. And because we've previously uploaded that information for the AI to learn, it answered correctly. Every answer you mark as a good answer will appear in the list below AI employee training. If we're not completely satisfied with the reply that the AI has given us in the learning playground, we can select custom answer. And when we click that, a box will appear where we can adjust the answer how we see fit. For instance, following up with a scheduling link after the initial answer. For any of the replies we adjust rather than marking as a good answer, those responses will appear under the custom answers list and not the AI employee training list. When a message from a customer comes in, you can have AI suggest an answer. Once your AI is activated, it'll automatically correspond with a customer, so you don't have to. 
All of the AI's responses are based on the training materials you provided, and you can activate it or deactivate it at any time. And if there's anything the AI doesn't know, you can categorize it into a folder, and you can assign it to a proper team member for a direct response from you. And that's how you train your AI employee with your custom data in ZD.